Hey, what's going on? You know, Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import high poly 3D models inside Fortnite Creative 2.0. Now, I've been playing around with this right here, and I think it's safe to say that it's not just a little baby Unreal Engine uh, that you can use to create mini games and so on and so forth, because I've been trying to break this pretty much the entire day and so far it's pretty much just like the real deal so we have some pretty high poly already in here as you can see right now but what i'm going to do is just go ahead and import some and again it's fairly simple if i go to my content browser right here if you don't see that control space bar it'll pop up for you and then i'll just right click in here and create a new folder and what we're going to be importing in here is a high poly 2.1 million triangles 3d model that i got from sketchfab again this thing is amazing so i have it right here as an obj now for this model the specific model it is rotated differently so i'm going to go ahead and put a negative 90 right here and just say import now one of the cool things about importing meshes inside creative 2.0 is that it automatically enables nanite for you so this is going to take a minute because it's going to import this 2.1 million triangle mesh and then convert it to nanite so we can use it in the editor okay so now we have that static mesh in here and if i just hover that right now you're going to see that we have 2.76 nanited triangles and again my, my mind is freaking blown right now all right and then what we'll do next is go ahead and import that texture it's going to be the statue right here drag and drop it in there this is a jpeg was fine now one of the main differences i've noticed so far when using creative 2.0 and the real unreal engine is that the textures are maxed out at 2048 by 2048 so if i click this texture right now this is an 8k texture but you're gonna see that we have display 1024 by 1024 and that's because we have the lod bias to three so i'm gonna set this to one and press enter and you're gonna see that we are maxed out at 2048 we can't have 4K. We can't have the native 8K. Again, this is just for me from using it. I'm not sure if this is an official thing, but I've noticed that in game, it's just 2048 by 2048. So I'll save that. So that's good to go. And after that, I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to right click the texture and create a new material. I'm not going to rename it or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it as is. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag and drop this static mesh, which actually is pretty big. So I'll go ahead and cut that in half to like 0.5. And then I'm going to drag this material to the element zero right here so that we're actually applying that material to our statue. I'll delete this right here. We don't need this right now. This is That's from another mesh that I had earlier. And my goodness, man, this, this, is, this is insane. Like this is how you know that Fortnite Creative 2.0 is not just a little toy baby software. This is full blown Unreal Engine. So now if I go to lit, nanite visualizations, and then go to triangles. <laughs> We're talking 2.1 million triangles in that baby, right? And what's crazy about it is if I go to lit, I'm going to push the changes and I'm going to save this because what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if this is going to be able to cook this right here. All right. So what you're seeing right now, it's uploading this 57 megabytes. This actual mesh right here is 57 megabytes by itself. That just shows you how freaking detailed this thing is, right? And I think it is a photo scan asset as well. It's not sculpted. All right, so I'm going to check on the Fortnite EXE. I'll press escape here. And let's change the settings as far as the actual resolution here. At least 2560 by 1440. So we get 1440p. And I'll just leave it at windowed for now. And I'll just apply. So it is a little bit bigger. And I'll go back, right? So again, I'm just going to wait for this, and then we'll be right back. All right, so our game is starting. This looks pretty cool. All right, here we go. This is looking pretty darn nice. I mean, look at those mountains right there. Did I just hit something? And let's take a look at our asset right here, our little statue. My goodness. <laughs> Yo, this, this is not a joke. This is not a baby Unreal Editor. This is amazing. That's crazy. And what's crazy about this is I can actually turn this into a destructible prop, right? So you can actually use high poly meshes now in Fortnite. And as you can see here, the shadows, it is nanite. So virtual shadow maps is enabled. Lumen is enabled 
crazy, crazy, right? So obviously this is JS Films. We're not going to stop there. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this pretty much instance, this statue right here, just to see, you know, what it looks like. I know it's not going to be unique meshes. They're going to be instances. So it's really not going to make a lot of difference, but just to have this many high quality 3D models in a scene like this, even with, you know, nanited environment, it's just mind blowing to me. So I'm going to hold alt. Again, I'm just going to duplicate the majority of them. I'm going to go to settings and let's change this to cinematics because that's how we roll. So I'm running about 44 frames per second now in the editor. All right. So I'm going to duplicate these. Just hold shift. Oh my gosh. And I know it's not really affecting my, my FPS because it's the same mesh, but it's just still so cool. Okay, so my computer actually crashed. So what I'm going to do is kind of just redo that, but not kind of overdo it. Three, four, five of it. I'm not going to make like crazy second row. So we'll just have like, I'm just going to make 20 of them. And again, don't try this at home. So I'm going to have about 20 of them like that. And I'm going to launch the session. And we're going to try and see if this is going to run in the Fortnite game. All right, so now we have our game starting, and oh my goodness, there they are. So I'm gonna, again, I'm just gonna increase this to 50, let's go with 1440p in this one. Press apply. I'm gonna change the settings. I have everything set to epic, pretty much. And I'm just gonna go back. So here we are. This is crazy. This is crazy. I know they're kind of floating, so I'm sorry about that. But, oh my goodness. Oh, shoot, we got the dinosaur right here. Sorry about that. Scared me for a second. I just added these, kind of playing around with it. Um, I should have added a weapon, but we'll do it next time. Sorry about it. Let me just get these guys. Little baby raptors. All right, so here we go. I mean, that, that just looks insane. This is incredible. I mean, this really changes things because I thought whenever they released this is like, okay, yeah, it's like a little mini baby Unreal Editor, but doing this test right here and looking around at all the devices and the blueprints they have set up in here, this is definitely much more than that. Uh, with that being said, that's it for this video. I did create a Fortnite Creative 2.0 beginner's tutorial. It's about 30 minutes long if you want to get started. I'll put in the link in the description below. Additionally, in the top right corner of this video, which is actually going to be my left. So go ahead and check that out. If you want me to continue on making Fortnite Creative 2.0 content, let me know in the comments below also. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.